Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Skills 13 here, bringing you another Minecraft video. Now today we're going to be doing a tutorial on OP factions within the server play.pika-network.net. Server IP will be in the description and the comment section, so feel free to join whenever you would like. The first thing you're going to want to do to join the server is right-click your server selector, go to the TNT icon at top left, and then OP factions right here. As you can see, there are 90 players online, so we'll just left-click that. When you join into the server, you will be given a starter kit. What you're going to want to do is, I mean, it's pretty bad gear but it's starter gear so you're going to want to use it um but it's just prop four and i'm breaking three you're going to want to sell all these blocks to make a little bit of money so you're going to do slash shop then you're going to go to minerals which is this little diamond icon then you're going to right click the blocks and you're going to sell all and you're going to do that for the gold iron coal emeralds as well so in starter of the world you're going to want to use your harvester hoe if you make a sugarcane farm or if you make any other crop farm to make money um, that'll just be the easiest way. The next thing I'm going to show you is slash kit where you can go to get better gear. Um, these are all the donator sets which you need to have a bot rank or a donator rank. Uh, pro, hero, lord, legend, god, immortal, uh, ranks like that. Uh, these are in-game ranks which you use in-game currency to buy and I'll show you how to do that with slash rank up later. Uh, but right now I'm just going to show you the member kit. You'll get tools kit. This is tools kit. It's just a pickaxe, shovel, and an axe. Uh, the weekly set, which is better gear than starter gear, but, you know, it's to use if you're a starter. And then this is our more starter sets to where you can get a little bit more money, which you're going to need if you're starting out. So as I said, you're going to want to do slash rank up to rank up in game and it'll tell you how much money you need at the bottom. It says requires and it, for guardian you need 2.5 mil. You may be wondering, well, what if I just save up for the highest rank, which is 950 mil and buy that? Well, Pika doesn't allow that. You have to buy it from order of cheapest to most expensive. So you have to go from guardian to vanguard to vintage indicator and so on. The ranks also show you what rewards you can get uh, when you purchase them and uh, in Guardian you'll get two player vaults, you'll get slash feed, get Guardian and a Guardian prefix. The prefixes are just as you can see like this guy has Cobra, this guy has Hero. Those are the prefix that'll be right next to your name. Um, it also says that you'll get two player vaults which is just when you do slash PV. I don't have permission because I'm not a rank but yeah when you do slash PV then you'll have two of them and you can store your stuff. So after you make a little bit of money on the server you're going to you're gonna want to make a faction and then you're gonna to want to make a faction base so to make a faction you're just gonna do slash f create I can spell create and then the names gonna be right here so for the purpose of the video we're just gonna name ours test fact um, and then it says you've created a new faction test fact uh, you can make a description so you can do slash f descript put your description there and I'll say want PVPers. So then when you do slash of who, you can scroll up and you'll see that our description is what PVPers. And also say like who's online, offline, allies, enemies, whoever you said. Um, in here you'll see the shield and that's really important. You want to set the shield to your time zone. So you'll do that with slash F shield. Um, only leaders can do this or if you set perms for the other players which I'll show you how to do later But you're gonna want to set it to a time zone that fits you You can't really see the times but when you join server and set times you'll be able to see a little bit better when you set it up But as you can see it tells you what time it currently is for the server so you can go off of that with which uh hour you use your f shield on so as i just said you're going to want to set the perms so you're going to want to do slash f perms and then this is where you can set all the perms for anyone in the server uh, so normal members you want to generally turn build and destroy off for normal members and then you're going to go to moderators and these are the people that you trust enough to have those perms of build and destroy and then you're also going to want to do for the co-leaders the co-leaders are generally the people that you trust the most so they normally get the uh normal perms. So after you make a faction, you're going to want to make a base for it. So you're going to want to do slash wild and it teleported us to a random coordinate. As you can see, uh, you can do slash of map to look for any claims on there, which there is a little bit. So I wouldn't recommend making a faction base in an area where there are already claims. You're going to want to find an area that don't have claims in it. it makes it a little bit better on you uh, for people to not have a home set near that area. So after you get a spot that you want to make a base, you're going to want to claim the land so you can build in it. As you can see, when you uh, have a gen bucket from the gen bucket section of the shop, uh, you're not going to be able to place it in random land because it has to be claimed land. So you're going to do slash F claim, and then you can either type a number two, three, four, 
Um, I'm just going to do slash of claim two, as you'll see in slash of map, that creates a little uh, three by three area that it claims. So I can make a little bit of a square kind of area for like a base or something. I'm just going to make it small for the video. So after you get your like square base set up, you're going to want to make some walls. So you're going to want to get gen buckets in slash shop. Uh, right here is gen buckets. You're generally going to want to use vertical obsidian and sand, but I'm just going to use netherrack for the purpose of the video. And then you're going to want to space them out once, and then that's when you're going to gen the walls like this. You you want them to line up with the base. I messed up there, but here I'll do it over here. Um, so yeah, you want them to line up nice and even, or else because if you mess up genning your walls, then people will take advantage of that when they're raiding you, and they might find easier ways to get into your base. So you want to make sure that you do it right. Uh, so after you get your walls genned, you're going to want to water the walls. So you're going to want to get up there, and you may be thinking, well, I'm just a member, I don't have slash fly, how am I going to get up there? Well, in your faction claim, you can do slash f fly and this allows you to fly up there. Now that we're at top of the base, we're gonna wanna close off the ceiling. So you're gonna go slash shop, gen buckets, and you're gonna want a horizontal gen bucket. Uh, so we'll just get another rack one. You just need to purchase one because then you can just use that one to place. Now that works for all except for the water ones. In the water ones you need, or the ice gen buckets, I mean, uh, you need to purchase as many as you're using. So you're gonna wanna just so get a few but it'll only go to the extent of your claim like it won't go any further than your claim i'll show you what i mean so you'll see it's uh wilderness right here on this block so it doesn't go in there it only goes in your faction claim and when you destroy these ice blocks it'll have water underneath it only have water underneath if you destroy it when it's on top of a block if it's like over air then it won't have water it'll just be empty uh, it generally works best when you use kit tools and then you can use the pickaxe to destroy the ice and that makes it really easy on watering your base so you're going to want to make sure that you're also following the rules when it comes to factions so you're going to do slash f warns to check out what the rules are and then you can go through here and read through all the rules and that'll make sure that you don't get a faction strike and faction strikes basically once you get i believe four of them then you won't be able to participate in the uh faction top payout because you'll be disqualified if you have too many strikes. Next, you're gonna wanna get members so you can get more power, because when you do slash of who, you can see you only have 53 power, but uh, nine of those uh, chunks have been claimed. When you do slash of map, you'll see nine chunks are claimed out of the 53 power that we have. You can also do slash of low power to see what everybody's power is that doesn't have 85 out of 85. You're gonna wanna invite people, and to do that, you're just gonna do slash F invite, and you're gonna wanna type the person's name. Uh, I see smoked AF is not in faction, so you'll just do that, and it'll say you invited that person. And then that's when you're gonna wanna set the faction perms for those people and everything. For the faction home, so you can get people to teleport to the uh, faction home very quickly, you're gonna do slash F set home, and it'll see that you set home there, so then you can just do slash F home, and it'll teleport you there. When you're in a faction, you're also gonna wanna make sure that you're not talking in public chat. You don't want people knowing your uh, private conversations that you're having with your members, so you can talk in slash FCF. When you talk in slash FCF, it puts you in faction chat, and then you'll see it's uh, green, that's how you'll know. Um, you can also talk in truce chat, so when you use slash F truce, uh, that's a faction, so chickens were informed that uh, I wanted to truce them. You can talk in slash FCT, and it'll be a uh, purplish color, or you can do slash FCA, and it'll be more of a pink kind of color for your allies. To promote members in your faction, you're going to do slash F promote, and then you're going to type their name. You can also do slash F mod, and you can also do slash F co-leader. Along with this, sometimes you want to demote members. You can do slash F demote, and sometimes you want to kick members, so you can do slash F kick and the name. If you create a faction that you don't really like the tag to, you can do slash F tag, and you can change the name to the new tag that you want it to be. So I can do slash F tag insanity, and new faction tag is insanity. So I can type in chat, and it'll say insanity for my faction. So if you ever want to get a donator rank, you're going to do slash buy, and then you're going to want to go to the one that says OP Factions, and then right here you have the G-Kits, the Boosters, the 
Uh, these are your cell wands and shockwave pickaxes. These are your crate keys and your rank upgrades. So like when you buy a rank, right now there's a 50% off sale, so everything's a little cheaper. But you can get ranks in here, and it's in Euro because it's European based. But yeah, to check where you are on slash F top, you're going to do slash F top, and that'll show you the top three factions value. And you can just check that to make sure you always want to be in top three, because if you're not in top three, then you won't be able to get a payout reward. That's when people are going for F top. If you ever want to go to spawn quickly, then you're going to type slash spawn, and it'll bring you there. Uh, since I'm a member, it's a five second uh, wait time. But it'll bring me to slash spawn, and now we're here. And if you want to get to anywhere else in the server, you can do slash warp, and then you can go there. Like, no MCMMO, that's the area where uh, PvP doesn't use MCMMO, or you can do slash warp PvP, which is just slash warp PvP, and it's a wait time, five seconds. I'd show, but it's just a PvP area that uses MCMMO. But there's also slash warp, uh, there's end, there's snow, there's pirate world. There's Enchant, the Crates, Digital Shop, which just brings you to the shop. So, yeah. So, those are the basics on uh, OP Factions and play.pika-network.net. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope to see some of you join the server, and I hope this video really helps you out. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. Peace out.